live in full color. From Hollywood, the Red Skelton Show, brought to you by Red's friends at Johnson's Wax, makers of J-Wax, and Clear. The Red Skelton Show with David Rose and his orchestra and Red's guest stars, John Carradine and Franklin Pangborn. And now, here he is, the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I'd like to thank Walter Winchell for the nice thing he said in his column, and I'd like to thank Dinah Shore for using one of my paintings on her show. It's really been hot out here in California, you folks that are coming out. We went swimming on Sunday, and my wife wore one of those new sack swimming suits, you know? She got arrested for seining without a license. <laughs> then they had the sportsman show out here, and they had a fellow that climbs up a 150-foot ladder, and he dives into this small uh, little tank like that. So they asked, anybody in the audience want to do it? So they all looked at me, and I, well, you know, big show off. <laughs> I climb up this 150-foot ladder, and I took one. You know it's harder to climb down a ladder than it is to climb <laughs> And then we now have Major League Baseball out here at last. <laughs> and the way the Dodgers are playing, that's the way they're going to wind up. <laughs> I went out there, there was uh, 78,000 people watching the game and 10,000 saw it. <laughs> this place is so big, this Coliseum, I'll tell you, it's so big that they've got restroom on the way to the restrooms. <laughs> didn't get to see much of the game myself. I was way up on the top, you know, and the satellite kept blocking my view. <laughs> hey, I got one joke to tell you about a little boy play, uh, 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 playing baseball. He's out there playing baseball. Uh, one of the little Richard type he's eating in his little kitchen. Ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four, you is out. He says, what do you mean I is out? He said, the base is loaded. I got no place to put. <laughs> to do a little pantomime scene now of an old man and a little boy and it has to do with baseball and you have to imagine the fence and everything and uh, this is called my Valentina special scene. Here we go. <laughs> Somewhere in this city lives a little old man and a little boy. <laughs> Close companions were these two. Many things they had in common such as being childlike and sharing a love for baseball. They wanted to see the ball game, but they just didn't have the price of admission. Only a knot hole through which they watched the game. It's a hit. It's going out to center field. It's going to hit the fence. <laughs> but the old man reached for his eye medicine. <laughs> it was known as his eye opener. is up. And there's the pitch. The ball is a high fly. It's going over the fence. Beware of pop flies. They are not male insects with blessed events.
When your work is done and you're tired, we can help unburden your mind. From the time that you get inspired, you will leave your troubles behind. Art is sweeping the nation. It's exciting and quaint. Every native can be creative with nothing but a brush and paint. You can be a sensation. You don't have to be good. Just put a black beret on your head today. Be meticulous or ridiculous. Art is sweeping the nation from Brooklyn to Hollywood. Right in our plot tonight, he does very well all his painting self. You, you will see his collection the moment we start the show. Deep inside the Johnson's Wax Laboratories, a special kind of car cleaner is being blended into a new kind of wax to create push-button paste waxing for your car. New Instant J-Wax. Inside, the hard wax suspends itself as millions of wax molecules for easy spreading. That's the speed waxing secret of new Instant J-Wax. Just push the button, spread it around. Dirt comes off, wax goes on. Real wax you can feel. Now buff it lightly to lock in the luster for months to come. You're done in half the time. Paste wax protection with push button ease. So let it rain and watch that water bead. There's nothing like J-Wax to put between your car and the weather. J-Wax, regular in the economy can, instant in the new push button can. J-Wax. do the cooing, but the billing will come later. You know. Why couldn't we do like they do? Well, I don't think that little branch would hold us. Oh, Clem, you made me sick. You're about as romantic as a, as a turtle. Well, turtles are pretty romantic, you know. Turtles? Yeah. You'd be surprised what goes on underneath that shell. <laughs> I'm going home. Well, wait, I'll help you over the fence. Here. Here we are. Oh, Clem, doesn't this give me any ideas? Yeah. What? I think, I think I'll put a gate on this fence. You're getting kind of heavy. Oh! Step right on my toe. Oh, my youngest one. Did I say something wrong? Ah, this should make a beautiful painting. Pardon me, madam. Madam! Look, my simple-minded rustic friend, I am not a woman. Oh? I am Gregory Grumbacher. I'm a man. A man? Well, then you better get out of that dress before you get arrested. This is not a dress. It's a smock. I happen to be a painter. I paint trees. I paint rivers. I paint cows. Really? Well, don't paint our cows. We like them the color they are. Hey, is that your Adam's apple, or did you swallow a yo-yo? Go away and leave me alone. Oh, I'm going right. to paint that barn. You're going to paint that barn? Yes. With that? <laughs> Why, for heaven's sake, that'll take you ten years. Just how stupid can you get? Oh, I don't know. How old are you? 
I've got my whole life before me, I mean. I don't know. Why don't you go away? Go on, go home. home. Wait a minute. Why go home? I live here. This is my farm. Oh. Then you must be Clem Cadiddle. That's the Cadiddle Hopper. <laughs> Always finish it. Gee, that's like playing tiddlywinks without a tiddly, you know. <laughs> Ping pong without a poem, you know. Cadiddle Hopper is the name. Cadiddle Very Hopper. well, Mr. Cadiddle Hopper. Yes. You just stand out of the way and watch me. You may learn something. Oh, really? Going to learn something? <laughs> what do you think I'll learn? What's that, a blonde riding a horse in the snow? What is it? <laughs> What's the matter? You got a hangnail or something here? <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. You probably want to do a hangnail sketch. <laughs> <laughs> That's too good, Dave. That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah. You idiot. Idiot. Wait. What's the matter? What a face. What? What a subject. Ooh, my face. Those eyes, yeah. that red hair, yeah. those dimples. You try to kiss me and I'll flap you. <laughs> Will you pose for me? Pose for you, I'd be very happy to hold this. Oh. How about this, fat? No. How about, how about pitiful? <laughs> no, 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 just forget all about it. Just sit down. Don't, uh, don't, uh, don't think about the posing. Just sit down and try to look natural. No, look natural. Huh? Above all, don't move. Don't move, all right. We got... Mm -hmm. No, no. Don't move! Uh, <laughs> There's a treacherous little dickens in there. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. What's wrong with you? Hey, hey, hey. Down, down, boy, down, boy, down. Now proceed. There, it's finished. Finished? Have a look. Good heavens, I know that feller. I've seen that face before. Well, certainly it's... Don't tell me, don't tell me. Let me guess. It looks like Ma and it looks like Paul. I know who it is. Who? It's my sister Minnie. <laughs> No, it couldn't on account of the mustache. Why, there's no mustache on that picture. I know, but there is on my sister, Minnie. <laughs> it may come as a surprise to you, Clem, but uh, this is a picture of you. Me? Say, no wonder Paul makes me lather up and shave every day. He, he, that or Minnie would be out uh, plowing up the field, you know. <laughs> I don't want the car to get a mating tube. Oh. Now, don't touch it. Whatever you do, I don't know. touch it. Wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot pole. Wouldn't touch it, too. I wonder if I could paint a picture. I know what I'll do. I'll use the back of his old canvas there, and I'll use some of his paints and his brushes, and I'll do myself a painting myself. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like a good one. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's the bad. Yeah. That ain't bad. Ain't bad. I don't know what it is, but it ain't bad. <laughs> That's there, boy. Oh, here comes that painter fellow. I better hurry and turn this around, because he sees that he'll get uh, mad. I sent it right off to New York. It's yeah. the best picture I ever painted. Me too, me too. What? I, I mean, it's the best picture I've ever seen. Me too. That is. Yeah. Bunker. Boy, you sure were hard to track down. Stephen, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, I've got a little check for you. Oh. Mm, I sold your picture. Five hundred dollars? I never got more than 50 bucks for a painting in my life. <laughs> you never told me that you went in for surrealism. Surrealism? <laughs> you know, when you paint a picture, a picture as great as that, why, uh, why do you have to put a crummy portrait of an idiot on the back? Stevens, I, I'm sorry, but I'll have to admit that uh, the idiot on the back is probably the one who did the painting on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else could have done it. Uh-huh. Well, Gregory, let me tell you one thing. The man who painted that picture <laughs> is the rave of the New York art world. <laughs> that idiot is a gold mine. Oh, mm. and we're going to stake a claim to him, huh? <laughs> ah, claim! Uh, I want to meet my uh, agent, Mr. Stevens. He's going to teach you how to work here. I can't find him. 
find it Phil Wisdom. I can't find it at all. Oh, you're the agent. Yes, right? yes, yes. yes. <laughs> You know, Clem, do you know what I like to do? What? I like to take you to New York, oh. uh, put you up in a studio, and uh, exploit your potentialities. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> be a great thing for your career, Clem. When would... can you leave? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to ask Daisy June, my financy. Wait, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, a nice crop of corn. What did you do, plant the script? <laughs> Hey, that painter fellow wants me to go to New York. New York? Yeah. Oh, where's that? I don't know, somewhere in Texas, someplace. <laughs> where's Texas? All over, all over. <laughs> Clem, you just can't go off and leave me. I can't? No, I can't. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I gotta stay here. Clem, if you go to New York, you'll become rich, you'll, you'll make a fortune. Hey, a fortune, there's a lot of money in that, ain't there, huh? I'll go tell him. He, uh, he says, if I go... <laughs> for this deal over, I'll probably wear your pucker out, you know. <laughs> he says, if I go, there'll be a fortune in it. But if you stay... Mm -hmm. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> I'm staying, I'm staying. I got something going for me here. Now, Clem. <laughs> Clem, if you go to New York, you'll absolutely be famous. Famous? You'll be the toast of the art world. The toast of the uh, art world. Uh, for a crumb like me, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, they say if I go, I'll be the toast of the art world. But... Of course, there's nothing like staying here and get barbecued, is there? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I have to stay. I'm staying. Oh, but Clem, in New York, you'll have your own penthouse. I will. Limousine, chauffeur. Oh, I'll go tell her. Oh, I'm in a dream world. A dream world. <laughs> hey, that's the best kiss of them all. Why? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm saying, give me another smack kiss like that. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> You can take him to New York. Created by Johnson's Wax through molecular research, a dazzling discovery for floors. It pours white, dries clear as glass, never yellows. Clear floor wax, created by Johnson's Wax. Clear contains the new molecular discovery, Plexon a crystal clear self-polishing ingredient that never yellows. This pane of glass will show you. Here's the way clear dries. Ordinary self-polishing wax turns yellow on your floors, like this. See the difference? Use clear on linoleum, asphalt tile, vinyl plastic, any floor. It dries clear as glass, colorless, won't yellow the lightest floors. Clear damp mops beautifully with clear water, yet washes off easily with soap and water. Try clear. It costs no more. Dries clear as glass, never yellows. All right. All right, sir, you can have the painting for $10,000. Fine, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Another ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, another, another. <clears throat> and you know, the orders are coming in so thick and fast, we can't take care of them. They will have to raise our prices again. <laughs> and make Clem work a little harder. We've <laughs> 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 got a lot of oil paintings to do. The models are waiting for They are waiting for me. Good. Miss Jones, <laughs> Mr. Kennedy <Kittle> Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Timbers, Mr. Kendall Hopper. <laughs> Rather ridiculous, but I like it. <laughs> well, better get to work. Uh, but, uh, you better get this. Come on, girls, Mr. Kendall Hopper is hitting for you when he needs you. Oh, we'll be busy over here right now. Mr. 
Diddle Hopper, yeah. would you care to do me first? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, get what is it you want me to do, anyhow? Well, I paint me, of course. Oh, paint you? I like you the color you are, bright red. There's nothing like a bright red. You know, I'll start right now. He goes, Yay! <laughs> I'll paint you right now. We got the... You rang, son! <laughs> oh, I didn't ring. I was hitting the drum here. I got... Uh, <laughs> no wonder the help's been missing. <laughs> oh, well, we'll paint a little bit more, a little bit here. Little oh! Bit. But don't wipe it off. It might be a masterpiece. <laughs> That was a good one, too. Well, here you are. All finny. Oh, I'm dying to see it. You are. There you are. Is that me? That Do you. I look like that? Yeah. My name is Jones. Other artists paint what they see, but Mr. Cadiddlehopper, <laughs> he paints what he feels. And I'm not feeling very well today. <laughs> out, 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 out. Thank here we go. Yes, sir. Get this out of the way here. Ready to go. <laughs> what happened? I Santa Monica landslide! Right, we introduce a distinguished patron of the arts, Which Mrs. Is Davenport. And Mrs. Davenport? <laughs> you sure are overstuffed, I'll tell you. Before <laughs> <laughs> stepping aside, I'd like to see who's talking. Oh, there you are! Oh, boy, is he over-exaggerated. Good heavens. I like those seat covers. It's very nice. Well, you could step on a penny scale and the 1958 budget would come out. Oh. Look at me like that. What do you think I am? What do I think you are? A peanut? <laughs> oh, yes, we could be, yes. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Davenport has just donated an art museum to the city. No, you got it on you? Yes, and oh. I've chosen you to paint the mural in the main lobby. You don't That's say. a tremendous honor, Clem. Oh. Oh. Uh, make him another Rembrandt, Michelangelo, another Da Vinci. Another Paganini. Paganini was a violinist. Well, truthfully, all of us artists like to fiddle around a little, you know. <laughs> I'll do it, though. Ladies and gentlemen, will be the Kadittlehopper mural. It will cover the entire wall. Uh, is it true, Mrs. Davenport, that you are paying $250,000 for this mural? Yes, that's right. Uh, you also paid a half a million dollars for this statue, is that right? Yes, half a million dollars. And it's worth far more. Half a million dollars for what? Why, for this statue. Charlie here! <laughs> <laughs> Face it, we all got to go sooner or later. Now, Mr. Davenport, when Clem's masterpiece is on that wall, it'll more than make up for your loss. Oh, I hope so. Yes. I gotta get the word. Everybody, everybody, everybody out. Get what, yeah, all right, Clem. Out, everybody yeah. out. Come on, everybody out. I got work to do. Get up, Brian. I got work to do. I got work. Bring in my ladder, will you, funny boy? Bring it right in there. Put it right up there, will you? I'll start it off. Thank you there. Thank you, Thelma. I can't help it. <laughs> And 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, after years and years, in fact, five years of effort, Mr. Cadiddlehopper has completed his mural. And I know, I just know that it will live up to the wonderful traditions of this museum. Oh, shut up, Pat! <laughs> <laughs> You like it, don't you? You like it. You like it, don't you? Is that your idea of a mural? I knew you. A what? A mural. Mural? I thought you said a mule! <laughs> Red will be back in a minute. Next week, Red's guest stars will be Audrey Totter and George Appleby, and will be presented by Pet Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk and Double Rich Pet Evaporated Milk. Someday, the new baby will play with Big Brother's toys. Might even inherit that precious baseball glove. But the formula he grows on must be his own exclusively. All babies are different. That's why hospitals send more babies home on formulas made with pet evaporated milk than on any other form of milk. For a pet milk formula is flexible. It can be adjusted exactly to each baby's need. Your doctor prescribes the formula, the amount of water and pet milk to use, the kind and amount of sugar or syrup to add. A pet milk formula fits your baby's needs as no ready-made formula ever can. It's exactly right for your special baby. More than 50 million babies have been raised on this form of milk. Thank you. <laughs> May we thank the makers of Johnson's Wax for making our visit possible and remind you that they also bring you the Steve Allen program over another network. <laughs> <Make> <laughs> Anything coming through? <laughs> Next week will be brought to you by our alternate sponsors, the makers of pet milk, and there she is. Go! <laughs> Johnson's Wax, we're a leader in wax products for home and industry. Makers of Clear and Jay Wax have brought you the Red Skelton Show. Produced by Cecil Barker. Directed by Seymour Burns. Written by Sherwood Schwartz, Jesse Goldstein, Dave O'Brien, Red Skelton. Seating program have been pre-recorded. This is Art Gilmore speaking. Red Skelton Show is a CBS Television Network production. Next, Hal March corrals Texas Chuck Jefferson, age eight, for another round aimed at the sixty-four thousand dollar question on the CBS Television Network.